Thank you, Miss Wimet. And welcome all family and friends here today to celebrate the class of 2030. My name is Justin Edwards. I'm the current middle school assistant principal and I'm the former fifth grade math teacher to the amazing scholars that sit in front of us today. I want to give a special thank you to the class of 2030 for allowing me to be your staff speaker today. This is something that I'm truly honored about and it's not something I've taken for granted. As I started to think about this speech to give you all, I immediately started to think about all of the good times that we had, especially back in fifth grade. Those were the days, just full of so much joy and excitement. There are so many great memories that I will hold on to for the remainder of my life. Let me share a few and see if you all remember them as well. I remember the time when I was trying to be my, you know, chill self as a teacher and sit on the U table while teaching. And all of a sudden the table just fell over. <laughs> and everyone in the class literally laughed at me immediately. <laughs> uh, somebody, I don't know who, was laughing a little bit too loud. <laughs> um, just a, a truly great memory. Do you remember the time when I was uh, circulating class and checking scholars work? Amazing work. And then all of a sudden I tripped over a scholar's bag. <laughs> Thanks, Mateo. <laughs> I owe you for that. <laughs> now we had just so many moments of just laughing and clowning each other in a good way and just simply enjoying each other's company. Now, what makes this class special is their ability to make the switch. And what I mean by the switch is that they could go from laughing for one moment, most times at me, to immediately getting back to work and on top of their academics. I will always remember each and every one of you getting up in front of the class to teach us how to solve math problems. I would tell you all to take a chance and to be a leader. That year, we really pushed each other to step up. Now that's leadership. There is nothing more special than seeing the growth that you all made over the years. Sometimes I truly wish that we could go back in time, but unfortunately, life does not work that way. So please, please, please cherish all of the great memories that you guys had over your years at Alma. These moments, these memories will carry you through high school and the rest of your lives. Now, like all of you, bless you, bless you. Now, like all of you, I was able to quickly go from being funny to being very serious about my work and my expectations for you all. I wouldn't be Mr. Edwards if I didn't use this opportunity this last time as a whole group to be honest with you guys. The reality of the situation is you are moving on from Alma and will never have an experience quite like this. High school can be the, the best four years of your life, but that's only if you make the choice for it to be so. Unfortunately, you might end up be in an environment where not everyone wants what's best for you. You are likely to face a greater deal of peer pressure unlike anything you have ever faced before. The people you are going to want around you in high school are those who are going to make you better in life. Some of the decisions that you make during these years can and will shape your future for better or for worse. I'm speaking from experience. Back when I was in high school, I had friends, I had family members who simply did not take high school serious. Some of those friends, some of those family members got caught up in criminal activity. They struggled to graduate and some of them even dropped out. Early on, I was far too close, my freshman year, my sophomore year, I was far too close to making those poor decisions like some of my family members and friends. 
I'm not telling you this to make you feel less excited about high school. High school is amazing. But I'm telling you this because I want you to have the awareness and knowledge beforehand so that you can make the best decision for you. Be your leader. All of you are. So please do not stop that now. Although there will be, there will always be challenges thrown your way in life, I remain hopeful that each and every one of you will have the mindset and the skill set to overcome any challenges that appears on your path to finding joy and success in life. Now, let me end with some of the hopes I have for all of you. I hope you realize that your family, that your family early on in life made an important decision and took a chance by sending you to Alma. At an early age, they push you to attend school, they push you to study, and they push you to graduate. Even after a long day of work that many family and friends have had today, they are here for you. They are here to celebrate you, they are here to push you forward, and they'll continue to be here for you. So please realize and appreciate any and all sacrifices that they have made for you over the years. My second hope, I hope you realize the amount of time and energy that all of your teachers and staff members over the years have invested in you. We invested that time, simply put, because we believe in each and every one of you. There have been many days throughout my time, throughout your teacher's time at Alma, where it was a struggle. It was exhausting, but they persisted for you so you can have a great education. Please know that they, that you guys mean the world to not only me, but also to them. Because we know that you guys have the potential to do great things in the future. Please realize and appreciate all the sacrifices that they have made for you guys. Thirdly, I hope you realize how much work you yourself have put in to get to the point you are now. Yes, you may have had support from family and friends, from teachers, but this wouldn't be possible if you didn't put in the effort yourself. So I truly want you guys to be proud of yourselves. Truly be proud of yourselves. You really push yourself to do better and simply to be better. You all have grown to be, become the scholar, become the person, to become the leader that you all are now. You're ready for high school. I know high school is right around the corner. Wow. You're ready for high school. You are not only ready for high school, you are ready to succeed in high school. Your work is not done yet, but please realize and appreciate any and all sacrifices that you have made yourself. And lastly, to all of my black and brown graduates, I stand before you to say that I hope you realize that you will always be more than enough. Don't ever let anyone in this world tell you different. You have all worked hard to get to this point. And if anyone in society, whenever anyone tries to push you down, I want you to remember that you are bright, that you are strong, and that you are loved. Some say you save the best for last. And I'm truly thankful that you were my last class. I am proud to tell everyone that I was once your teacher. This is a special group. Everyone in the audience knows that this is a special group. And I'll always be here for you. And you will always have a special place in my heart. Now I want you guys to go off and continue to lead and show the rest of the city what we already know about you guys. I love y'all. Thank you.